Hey, hey everyone. Oh my goodness. Maybe it's the lighting, but underneath my eye looks freaking juicy. It almost looks like if you squeeze it, like a bunch of gusher stuff would come out. I haven't been sleeping good. What's up y'all? Welcome to the vlog. Hope you're having a fantastic day. So far, I'm having a fantastic day too. Mm, I woke up, went to the gym, hopped in the ice plunge and I did freaking five minutes. My record so far is 10 minutes. But when I did 10 minutes, I did it. I think I did it like Monday of this week. When I did 10 minutes, I hopped out and I was like exhibiting symptoms of frostbite. Like my toes were a little bit whitish. It felt like my skin was burning off my body and I couldn't heat myself back up. And I went in like the hot, hot shower. I couldn't even feel the hot water. And it was just like, oh, it was like my whole body was falling apart. It was just so cold and I was shivering so hard. And then I bit like the inside of my cheek. I was shivering so hard, but I'm doing five minutes a day. And honestly, like it changed my life like it's been changing my life I feel like it's really been helping with anxiety yesterday I was having a really rough day I don't know why I'm like diving into this stuff I'm getting into like all this week already so freaking yesterday I was just having an off day and I went to the gym did the ice I did freaking everything I usually do and it was just a bad day bad day and then I was finally like Hmm, I'm just gonna order some pizza. So I ordered myself two pizzas. I only ate like five slices since I'm trying to space it out for the next couple days. Since I love pizza, I love putting pizza in the microwave and eating it. It's my favorite activity ever. And so I was just like, yeah, I'm feeling super anxious today. I don't wanna cook. I don't really wanna leave my house. Don't know what's going on. I'm just like not feeling good. Like it's an off day, something's wrong, something's wrong. And I couldn't even focus on my homework. I was just super anxious. I barely slept at all. Like that night, I was waking up over and over again in the middle of the night just because of stress dreams. Like I kept dreaming that I got canceled or something and I would wake up like... And I always have to check my phone because you never know. You never know. Like you never know. Some Those dreams are hyper realistic and I fall for them every freaking time. So yesterday was just a freaking nightmare and then all that stuff happened and I was just staying in my room and then I thought to myself, I really should get out. I really should go do something. And so I went to this big old festival and there was so many people. It was so loud. I'm kind of a quiet talker. When things are super, super loud, I just can't talk loud. I don't I don't know why I'm like, hey. Or it was a bunch of college kids. So they'd be like, what's your major? And I'm like, communications. Like that's about how loud I talk. I don't know. I'm not like a yeller at all. Like at parades and stuff when people cheer, I'll clap, but I won't cheer because... I'm not a yeller. Like, I don't know. It just felt so quiet. I, no one could freaking hear me. Ooh. It was just so bad. So I left early and I had like plans after, but I was just like, I'm going home. Bye y'all. I'm having like an anxiety attack kind of. Well, I was. But now we're good. Now we're good. I am thriving a little bit. I am ready to do something and I am just not gonna make the same mistake again as I made last year. As y'all know, fall is coming up and last year I... I swear I did like zero fall decoration. I didn't really spruce up my apartment for fall. I think I bought like one pumpkin and called it a day. Fall is the best season ever. It is the best season. The leaves are so pretty. The vibes are just so fun. There's pumpkins, there's apple cider, there's apple spice. And I really need to seize it. I really need to grasp it by the throat. I know I'm starting like a month early. I don't think fall even starts until September. Is it September? August, September. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's September 9th. I think fall started then. So I say, let's go to Trader Joe's. Let's find some fall stuff. Usually they have like pretty good fall decorations, but they got that fall food. And then if I don't find good stuff at Trader Joe's, we are going to freaking go to Walmart and get some of their crusty little fall stuff. So let's hop in the car. Let's go. Oh, let's do a little fit check. I got the dogs out, so don't screenshot. But I'm wearing this shirt that I thrifted and it's Summer Camp 2007. Oh, Here's the back. And it's like Boy Scouts. And then I'm just wearing jorts. I got these shoes really recently. I'm just gonna wear them since I freaking love them. New Balance 550s. And it's this brown fuzzy thing. Like I like to rub it on my face. Honestly, that could be why I'm breaking out all the time. We are driving to Trader Joe's. But I was thinking about this the other day since I saw a hearse on the road. If you don't know what a hearse is, it's almost like a stretch limo, got a body in the back. And I was thinking about it. 
since you know how like people drive the body around like the casket they'll drive the casket to the cemetery they'll drop it off at the like funeral home so those drivers what music do you think they're listening to like do you think someone has the aux do you think they listen to the radio like i can't even imagine if i was driving a body like in the back of my car as a career what music would you listen to i don't i feel like you couldn't listen to like katy perry while driving a body like do you think they have like hearse playlists like church music i guess gospel maybe but i saw like younger kids driving this hearse like are you listening to kendrick lamar like what what kind of vibe? I'd feel so weird jamming out to any type of music if I knew there was a body in a box behind me. Oh wait, honestly, 21 Pilots, Heathens, if you know that song where it's like, all oh, my friends are heathens. I honestly think maybe I could listen to that if I was driving a hearse. Like honestly, I think if I died, I would pre-make a playlist for the hearse. I don't know, I haven't got it all figured out in my head, but it's just really like irks me. People are, are driving a hearse and listening to music. Honestly, I don't think they should listen to music. I feel like you can't. You're like, there's a dead body in the back of the car. This is kind of morbid, but I bet Zac Efron is, oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait, not uh, Ted Bundy. Oh, I always get him confused. He should have never played him. Like Ted Bundy, I bet he listened to like the radio. Like probably AM radio, not FM. Yeah, probably. So I was on TikTok scrolling and looking at some of the past fall stuff Trader Joe's has. Everyone was saying they have these, I think they're called cinnamon whisks. And they're like little cinnamon stick brooms that you put in the corner of your house and it makes it smell like fall. So I may snatch up one of those, depending on the price. I'll probably snatch it up. There's a small size and a large size. I didn't see the price though. And then there's like pumpkin body butter, but I've never used body butter in my life and I don't think I'm planning on it. I kind of got a phobia of butter on my skin. You know when you're washing dishes and there's butter in the bowl or but butter, whatever. Mostly it's like popcorn. Like when you're washing out, when you make homemade popcorn and pour the butter on top of it, when you're washing out the bowl and then the butter gets on your hand and then you're trying to wash it off, but the butter's like hydrophobic, I think it is. And you're just trying to be like, Get off my hands. Why would I want my body covered in butter? What's body butter? Is it lotion? If it's lotion, maybe I'll get it. But if it's like a little bit buttery, no. My hair is a hot mess today. I haven't been using toner. And I, I like you're supposed to use toner once a week. And I have not used that for like two months. And honestly, like it's not getting any more yellower. It's just kind of looking the same. A lot of my friends are trying to get me to dye it pink, but I feel like I'd be subjecting myself to a lot of cyberbullying, IRL bullying too. I feel like I would just give pick me vibes. So I've been holding off. I may do it. I may just do it for like three days. I kind of want like a sage green. Just imagine sage green. I honestly think I could pull it off. I really do. Oh my goodness, we're only four minutes away. It is a Saturday, but I'm hoping it's dead. Oh my gosh. Everyone, everyone in the whole world had the same idea as me. It's packed. Okay, I thought this was gonna be a fun little Trader Joe's outing, but this is the most packed I have ever seen it in my life. People are like circling around looking for parking spots. Oh my goodness, everyone's here. And the worst thing is, it's like the Utah people with spray tans. I don't trust people with spray tans, really. I don't. They're always up to something. They really like strike my fight or flight so quick. If you have a spray tan, I'm like, no hate though. Do what you want, but just know that I'm a little bit on edge when you got a spray tan. I'm a while I was driving here, I saw this little billboard on the way to the road and I had to go through my car like security camera stuff and I found like, I, anyways, I got a picture of it. You can barely see it, but it said one in 500,000 will get struck by lightning. One in three get diabetes. And I was thinking about that. I wasn't really thinking about the diabetes thing, but the one in 500,000 lightning chance, why is that better odds than I thought? Like on YouTube, I got, I got like one point two 1.2 million followers that means like maybe 2.5 of you well actually not maybe you will 2.5 of you are gonna get struck by lightning and could freaking die like you could survive i know someone that got struck by lightning three times and they survived if you guys get struck by lightning please comment down below i'd love to hear well think of people like mr beast that's probably like he has like a hundred million followers. How many is that? Is that like a hundred of his fans are gonna be struck by lightning? What if I'm the one in 500,000? <gasps> There's like the darkest cloud that just formed over here. 
I don't want to be one of those one in 500,000. I'm just going to run into Trader Joe's so quick. I was going to try and vlog in there, but there's a lot of people with spray tans. When I tell y'all, I walked in there, I got a little shopping cart, I just went feral. Every freaking fall thing I saw, I just snatched it. Didn't even care, I was just snatching everything. I got, let's see, one, two, three bags of stuff. I got the cinnamon broom. I think I called it a cinnamon whisk when we were driving over. It's not a whisk, it's a little broom. And it's smelling my whole car up like cinnamon. And then I got three pumpkins. Look, look how cute this one is. This one's supposed to be for pumpkin pie, um, but it's a decoration pumpkin. And then I got a big boy pumpkin. And then I got this. Wait, it kind of looks like me. Oh, well, it looks like me if I got a spray tan. It's like a spray tan pumpkin. And those are just all gonna be decorations. I got so much food though, but I'm gonna have to turn on the AC because they are freaking about to melt. But I didn't find like a wreath and I kind of want a fall wreath. So I'm thinking of like maybe slinking over to Walmart and getting a fall wreath. I'm a little bit worried since some of the stuff in my car could melt, but we just gotta risk it. We gotta, we gotta get a little fall wreath on the door. I love seeing wreaths. Not much things are better than a good old wreath wreath on a door. And so we are gonna drive to Walmart and hopefully we can find a wreath. So let's go. Everyone just like cross your fingers and pray they have a good wreath. Um, I feel like I looked at them and they all kind of sucked, but we are gonna see. Oh my gosh, I'm blacking out. Okay, I can't tell. I'm thinking this one. Oh, I can't tell if they're cute or freaking like horrendously ugly. Y'all, my car is completely filled to the brim with fall stuff. I don't think, well, actually I got trash bags, but I think that's the only, oh no, I got spider spray too. But other than th that, I think everything's freaking autumn themed. Well, I guess spider spray is kind of autumn themed. There's so many spiders. Our house, probably at like any point of the day, if you measured it, if you were to count how many spiders we got in our house, we probably got at least like 30 or 40. And outside it's freaking so bad. It is so bad. There are so many spiders the other day I was about to sit on the toilet, a little TMI, but there was a big old spider on the seat. And if I didn't look before I sat, I would have been bit by a spider or would have squished one, probably both. Like when we go on a trip or something and come back, there's spider webs like strewn across our house, like a spooky movie, which honestly, maybe I shouldn't even get the spider spray because Halloween's coming up and we kind of want the webs but i got some spray my mom told me to get that you can spray inside the house like all the interior and i think the exterior and hopefully there will stop being so many spiders since these aren't like little baby spiders little baby spiders i kind of vibe with these are juicy ones like these ones got a little juice to them and it's so intimidating they're so intimidating let's drive home and then we'll do a little unboxing we got so so much fun stuff so much stuff i gotta put y'all on and let's go let's do a little haul i'm gonna try and be as quick Quick as possible. This is the wreath I picked out. These three pumpkins. I also got this little sign. It says pumpkin leaves. Oh wait, autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. Honestly, I just eat that up. I feel like these are words that everyone needs to live by and it's orange, so it matches the house. I think I'm gonna put it right here. I think it, like right there, like autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. Fetch that so fresh. That is so fresh right there. This is the little wreath holder. I'm wondering, should I put the wreath on like the outside of my door or like the inside? I think I'm, I'm almost leaning towards the inside since I wanna see the wreath. I don't really care if my neighbors see the wreath. I want to see the wreath though. I wanna see the wreath, I don't, you know? So maybe I'll hang it inside. This is the big old pumpkin, oh, cinnamon broom. Mm -mm -mm. And it just smells like pumpkin. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. It's kind of a fun little decoration. It also looks like a little spider house. I feel like a lot of spiders are gonna nest in here. Okay, we're just gonna speed run this. So screenshot if y'all wanna like see something better. First up, apple cider donuts. These are really good when you heat them up in the microwave. Then we got these pumpkin tortilla chips. I've never tried these before, how to get them. Um, pumpkin flavored JoJo's, these smack. Those are good. Fall harvest salsa, love this, love this. It's so good, so good. Pumpkin spice cookies, I eat these up. Something about it, they're like dipped in yogurt and they just have like a really, really good taste to them. Trust me, trust me. Then these caramel sea salt bacon chips. These are good for snacking. I've never tried baking them, never tried putting them in cookies. These are just really good, you like, just snack on them. I eat them up. Then they have these really cute like Harvest chocolate collection. Artisan chocolates. That look like little fall stuff. I love them. I got one for my mom, one for me, and then one for my grandma. 
Pumpkin spice batons, slap, slap. Oh, I don't remember getting this. Pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookie mix. I'll have to make that sometime. I don't think I put that in my bag. I don't remember that. Pumpkin spiced teeny tiny pretzels. Then these fall harvest tortilla chips. I get these every year. These are just really, really fun looking. Like they're so fun. They really just fall apart though. Like there's so many crumbs, but they are just like the funnest little fall leaf. And you just dip them in your salsa. Dip them in your fall harvest salsa. Oh, there it is right there. Eggs. Butternut squash ravioli, huge fan of this. Uh, honey crisp apple candle, love their honey crisp apple. Then we got another butternut squash. Oh wait, no, this is the first time y'all seen this. Butternut squash mac and cheese. It's like regular mac and cheese, but it's butternut squashy and it's kind of a little spicy. Like it got a little spice to it. It's kind of fun. I got three of those. Oh, then the other ravioli. Um, the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Overnight oats pumpkin flavored. This looks like baby food. Not sure why I got it. I was, I genuinely was like this. I wasn't really thinking about it. But yeah, that, that's, I think that's basically every fall thing they had. Let's find a place for the wreath and the pumpkin in the house. We got to do some little decorating. Uh, let's do it. Cinnamon broom. Don't you think like cinnamon broom vibes right here? I'm not sure where else I would put it. Honestly, it's a really strong cinnamon. Like I was sneezing a little bit in the car and one of my friends, well, self proclaims that she's allergic to cinnamon. <coughs> <coughs> Holy cow. That is so strong. That is cinnamon. That's cinnamony. I used to chew cinnamon gum, but it would make me cry. Oh, heck, I'm getting splinters. Okay, what an ugly decoration, now that I'm seeing it outside the bag. Should I just like prop it right there? That's kind of fun. Honestly, maybe, let's put like the pumpkins down by it. Yeah, maybe, mm, like a little fall. Can y'all even see that? This little pumpkin, so it's like, autumn leaves and pumpkin, please. And then we got a pumpkin and a candle. I think that's the move. Smells good. Smells like fall. So my front door is kind of, I think it's like a goofy tall. Like, doesn't it look really tall? We're gonna put the wreath on it. I swear the wreath is supposed to be the middle of the door. We'll see. I think I'm hanging it inside. I think that's the move. I don't want my neighbors to see it. That, oh. Does it look weird? Cause it's on the inside. Okay, never mind. This looks so goofy. That like wreath holder is like up there and it's kind of making a little hole and I'm worried like spiders are gonna crawl through the top. That looks good, it does look a little goofy. I'm just gonna try and, should I put it on the other side? Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh, it feels like fall, it feels like fall. I'm so happy. The cinnamon's like filling the air. The pumpkin's filling the air. Feels so dreamy, it just feels so folly. I should have got like fake leaves, honestly. I should like sprinkle like fake leaves against this. I don't know, I'm happy with it so far. I probably should get some more decorations, but as of right now, I'm eating it up. Like it feels like fall. I just laid out what I'm eating for dinner and honestly, I feel like Benjamin Franklin or like literally anyone from history would be rolling in their grave right now. I'm out of pizza, crazy bread, Starbucks. This is the, I think it's called the dragon drink. It's like dragon fruit and coconut milk. Ranch for the pizza. And then I'm gonna try these pumpkin spiced teeny tiny pretzels. Let's try them out. These better be good. With yogurt flavored coating and crushed pumpkin spiced pumpkin seed. Wait, crushed pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds. Oh my goodness, that's a tongue twister. When it says with yogurt flavored coating, does it mean it's like a, just like a random coating and then they flavored it yogurt? Or is it like yogurt that's flavored? I don't know. I don't <gasps> Wait, these are so fun. Look how fun they are. They are so cute. They are so teeny tiny. Mm. Oh, okay. They're good, but also tastes like you're eating like a, like a really strong candle. It is very pumpkin spice. I'm eating it up. It feels like fall, but it also feels like beeswax candle. I wish mm, like a chapstick of this. Oh. I would just eat it off my own lip. I honestly lose sleep that some people don't have ranch with their pizza. It's just something I grew up with, but I posted on my story like, oh, eating pizza and it had some ranch in it. And people were like, you eat ranch with your pizza? Like you have to dip it in something. And it's so weird when people dip their pizza in pizza sauce. The pizza sauce is already on it. The ranch though, it just gives like a, 
like a creaminess to it, like a like a sourness to it, you know? You just gotta eat pizza with ranch. It's it's so good, it's so good. Okay, we are gonna get this thing put together and start getting rid of these spiders in my house. I was reading online though, since my brother that's filming right now walked in and he said, there is too much cinnamon in the air. And I was reading, oh, that was too easy. I was reading and bugs cannot stand the smell of cinnamon. And if you drop cinnamon oil on like mosquitoes and stuff, they instantly, like they'll die. And it scares away rats and everything. And it said sometimes if a bug smells cinnamon, it will literally suffocate and die. So we are doing that and then we're doing this and there will be zero spiders in sight. Oh, what kind of plastic did they put in this? Okay, I guess we just start spraying. Oh. Whoa, whoa, what is that, what is that? Please. I'm running, I'm running, it's angry. I for sure thought that was a spider coming for us. Oh! James, you can't. Yes, that is. That was alive at some point. That's what scares me the most. I had never seen that before. And I walk barefoot out here all the time. They're in this. Oh my gosh, it's running. I really think the spiders are out to get me. Okay, we just entirely spider-proof the whole house. Hopefully we'll never see another spider again. And I don't know what we're doing for the rest of the day. I got, oh, <gasps> James, this bug juice is sloshing on me. But I got a bunch of college homework to do, so that's probably what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the night. But thank you guys so much for watching another vlog. Subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. Oh wait, comment down below what fall decorations you think I need. Okay, see y'all next time, bye.